So you live in his neighborhood and uh, saw, saw the scene here, where someone was shot. What's your reaction to that? Well, my, my reaction about it is that it feels very uncomfortable because we don't know if it's a retaliation from uh, all those gang members, you know. And uh, it feels really bad because we live around here. We thought that we were safe, but it doesn't seem like it. You know, we're trying to use the service for the seven train but it doesn't seems to be working mm. so it really feels you know you can't do nothing about it tell me about Pretty this tough. intersection is that a, is a busy intersection it is a busy intersection it is a busy intersection i could say that it's one of the busiest here in corona because we have 111 but it's not as busy as this one this one is very busy mm. We have feel? a lot of people coming down here. And how do you feel about a shooting happening right here in this uh, busy part of town? I feel very unsafe, to tell you the truth. <laughs> very unsafe because we don't know what's going to happen. We walk around here with family, with our kids and everybody else. And well, it happened at night, but imagine if, if it happens during the day. It's pretty bad. It's actually pretty, pretty bad. Uh, I'd love to give your name, sir. Would you like to give your name? Your name? Uh, Israel Gomez. Uh, can you spell it? I S R A E L G O M E Z. Thank you very much, sir. Anything else that you want to say, or? Well, no. It's just that it's unsafe. Like before, when Juliana was around, it was a different thing. Mm. Yeah. Thanks again, sir. Appreciate it. All right. All right, sir, you live in this neighborhood, and uh, we just came off the subway. Noticed right. the uh, crime scene, someone shot. What went through your head? Well, nothing su surprising, you know. Um, like two months ago, less than that, we had a shooting also in a in United Street. You no, know, like another you know, station, like two stations far from here. I mean, it's been happening a little bit constant, and um, I've been living here for uh, more than 13 years, 14 years, in this neighborhood. I always take this route, so um, yeah. I mean, no surprise, <laughs> but it's, it's death for the neighbor. You know? And how often besides that, two months ago, have you noticed shootings uh, around here? Around here, I well, heard something else in uh, Lefrak City. It was like uh, 20 days ago, I guess. So I mean, around this area mostly. Yeah. How does it make you feel about that shooting happening in your neighborhood? Well, I feel a little bit insecure, especially for the people that travel this, at this time, you know, and the, the use of the service. Uh, it's a little bit insecure because you never know when a lost bullet is going to hit you, you know. And uh, tell me about this intersection, about uh, how busy would you describe this? Uh, this is one of the busiest ones. Uh, this one, Junction Boulevard, is these two are one of the, the, the busy ones, you know. You know? A lot of people live in this neighborhood on this side, especially on this side, uh, from the Roosevelt Avenue to uh, Lefferk City. A lot of people walk at this time. Uh, okay. Yeah. Now, anything else you'd like to add to? Well, it's good uh, to see the police around here, but we should see it like a little bit more often. You know? I'd just like to give your name. Rufino Avendano.
Right? Rufino Avendano. Uh, can you spell it? R U F I N O Avendano A V E N D A N O. Thank you very much, sir. Pleasure. Ooh.